Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I run the crocheting business, the Mystical Hippie AU. So if you don't already know, I sell crochet patterns, I sell at markets, I do YouTube tutorials and YouTube videos um, and a whole lot of other stuff. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to my channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing, um, so I'm sort of rebranding my business. So I've chosen the colours behind me, which you can probably see. So I've sort of just been using a bit of whatever. Um, but from now on, I'm just going to be using these colours. Maybe a little bit of... I don't know where it went, but it's like a really pretty... Oh, it's the same as this. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using some of that. I don't have a ton of it left. Um, but I'll be mostly using the colours here. And I will be launching a whole heap of new products on my Etsy shop as well as replacing all my products at my markets using these colours. So I'm pretty much just going to be prepping stock um, for my new colour launch, I suppose you could say. So I'm going to be doing... There's 10 colours in total apart from white and black, which... No, grey, not black. Um, so... 10 colours in total and I'm going to be doing two octopuses in each colour, two frogs in each colour, two mushrooms in each colour and then also two mushroom keychains in each colour. So it will be a lot of work. Um, how many is that? That's 20 frogs? 20 of each or 40 of each? 20. I think it's 20 but I could be wrong. Because I suck at maths and haven't been at school for like five years. But anyway, <laughs> so let's get started. So grab a project, a work in progress project, and let's get into it. So this is what I currently have made. I have been working on a little bit, but I definitely don't have much, as you can tell. So these are obviously the frogs. I've only got one octopus, the mushrooms here, and then the mushroom key rings here. So I, for the red, I just need to do the octopuses. Done them pink in that, so just one more frog and then two of the mushrooms. And yeah, here you can see I have a lot to do. So I'm hoping to get all of it done within the next few weeks or so. Um, because I do need to prep for some markets and do some other stuff. So I don't have just this to do, I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, but this video is purely gonna be making these things in the colours I showed you before. Okay, so you can see I've done a lot more here and I think I'm going to stop now because I'm actually so tired to the point where I'm like feeling sick because <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know why, it's not even that late, it's like 12.15, although I think it's like actually 1am now because of daylight savings ending, so it's like really messed with my sleeping schedule, I guess, my my crocheting schedule <laughs> but um got everything here i've also made a list oops, a list of stuff that i need to make so i also need to mark off um the second yellow mini mushroom keyring um this is some highlighting it as i'm finishing just these ones not the completely finished project um, but you can see everything I've done just here.
So I've done quite a bit more. So this is everything I've got here. I mean, still obviously a lot more to go. Uh, this is my updated list of stuff I need to make. And yeah, still lots to go. I've also, um, so I've also inquired about doing another market on the 21st. So today's the first, so I'd have three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. <laughs> Um, and it is a huge festival. It's nine hours long. I believe there is... That's really annoying. I'm going to go shut my door. Hang on. Okay, so as I was saying, there was a market nine hours long. It goes for... Um, I believe there's 250 stall holders. So that would be crazy. I think there was about 20,000 people there. I'm not sure. can't remember. Um, but the dregs are like the lead um, singers there, or the lead performance, I should say. And if you don't know, like, I, I don't really know their music, but I've heard of them a lot, and I know they're very popular. And the stall is, I think, it was 250 bucks. So that is, if I get into that, that would be an insane festival, I'm hoping. And I would need a lot of stuff, a lot of small stuff like these key rings. I reckon they would probably sell well and like the little mushrooms that I'm working on now or the, the bigger mushrooms and the key rings. Um, but yeah, I reckon they'd sell really well at a music festival like that. Mostly because like you can't really carry around giant stuffed animals like that sort of thing there. I mean, I suppose you could, but I just feel like people would be more inclined to buy the smaller stuff that they can just like put in a bag or whatever. Or put on their key ring or something like that on their keys um, but yeah hoping I get into that hoping there's no other crocheting artists there I only have three weeks to prep for it as well so I currently probably have or oh, I reckon maybe three four thousand dollars worth of stock which sounds like a lot um, and if I finish all the stuff that I'm currently working on it'll be at least another two thousand I suppose so Hope I get into that because that would be amazing. I do have the Broadmeadow Farmers Market this coming weekend, and then the weekend after I have a crocheting class that is booked out. I think there's ten or eleven people coming, so that's crazy. And then the weekend after is when the festival is. I was supposed to do a crocheting class then as well, um, but I only had I think one or two people booked in for it. So I'm going to message them and see if they would be willing to swap first. If not, then I'll, I won't worry about doing the festival because I did commit to the crocheting class first. Um, but I'm going to message them and see if they'd be willing to swap. So hopefully, hopefully they'll say yes, but if not, that's fine. So yeah, going to keep going ahead with my market prepping and my prepping for my new product launch. Hoping I can get all of this done and taken photos of and stuff. Maybe uploaded, probably not uploaded before the festival. Um, but so I can sell all this at the festival because that would be amazing. I would have so much more stuff then. So I worked out the stuff I'm currently making. If I finish it all off and sell it all, it would be $1,600 worth of stock. So that's for... I think it was for 80 different things. Let me have a look. 80 toys totaling $1,600. Plus I wanted to make some turtles and upload them. And I think I wanted to have either 10 or 20 different styles with different color, or not styles, different colors and sell them for 30 each as well. So that would um, increase the price a lot as well. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going with making mushrooms. So I've just created the little purple mushroom keyring here and that means I've done all the colours now for the keyrings and I think the colours just look so pretty. I'm so happy with the colours that I chose and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how they do at markets. So I've got all that stuff there now. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the mushrooms. So I need one more purple, one more light blue um one more i think green and one more orange 
um, and then I'll finish off the bigger mushrooms so this size and then I will probably start doing some of the octopuses okay so I currently only have three two yeah three mushrooms to make for the smaller size ones so it's a green one an orange one and just the light pink which I've already started but I'm gonna go for a walk. I need to go up the road and grab a few things because I know if I don't go now, then I will never go and I will end up having a sleep for like four hours. So I don't wanna do that because I do wanna get some stuff done today. I need to do some stuff around the house and I wanna get a lot more crocheting done. Plus I also wanna do some goal setting stuff. I don't know if you've heard of it. I only just learnt of it and I've like, been reading a lot about goal setting and self-help sort of stuff for a long time and I've literally only just heard of this so it's a 12 week year um I don't know what the book's actually called I haven't read the book but I heard it from Cameron's Cute Creations she was talking about a 12 week year so you set your goals around having 12 weeks and then technically you have four years in one year if that makes sense so you'll have four lots of 12 weeks in a year and it's supposed to help you get a lot more done, help you stay focused on stuff and everything like that. So I think I'm going to do some goal setting either tonight or tomorrow. I might do it tonight because I know, once again, if I don't do it tonight, then I probably won't get it done. So I'm going to go for my walk and then uh, hopefully I'll be feeling a lot more awake by then. So I just got back from my walk. I'm still tired, but much more awake now. And I was listening to a podcast and now I'm considering doing the 72 hard challenge. So if you've done that, please let me know what it was like. Because, yeah, it was a very good podcast and now I'm curious if I should do it or not. So I just finished all the mushroom keyring tops. So now I'm going to move on to just the regular size mushrooms. So I gave in. I was too tired. I ended up having a nap. But I'm all set. Got my much more love. <laughs> Got my little teasers here and all set for a big guide of crochet. So there's all my little mini ones with some other stuff in there, little avocados, which I'm going to come back to you probably later in the video. And I'll finish working on the mushrooms now and then I might do an octopus or two and then I think I'll keep going with the avocados. Hey Willow, I want to say hi to all of your YouTube fans. I guess she doesn't. Alright, so I'm currently working on mushrooms in the blue. Also, sorry if the lighting's kind of bad. Um, I need to wear my glasses because today my eyes were literally hurting all day. And um, I don't know if it's because of the light or not, but I don't think it's that good for my eyes. So I probably shouldn't have it on as much as I do. But anyway, I've got my glasses on. So just ignore the glare. But working on mushrooms... I did hear back from the uh, festival organiser for the market store there and it sounds like I've got a spot there although I did accidentally tick that I need power for it and she was just like emailing to check what I need power for but I don't need power I just accidentally clicked it I don't know how I actually I think it was like automatically filled out and I didn't unclick it so I think that's what was wrong but I've been market prepping all day and it's getting kind of hard because I, I was playing basketball like a month or two ago and I hurt my finger and it's not really sore but it's just really crooked and it kind of feels like it's starting to go a bit numb so I booked a doctor's appointment for that because <laughs> I don't think that's normal um but yeah, it feels fine. It's just really crooked and I don't know why. I don't know how it can be that crooked and not hurt. Like I can literally bend it back and I don't know. But it's making market prep hard a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of like making this finger feel weird as well. So it's making it a bit difficult, but that's all right. Powering through anyway. But yeah, just wanted to give an update for the um, festival that I applied for. And I think I'm going to keep going with mushrooms until I'm done. So I need to do another six, seven, including this one. So six after this. I'll show you all the ones I've done so far. So two of the magenta or darker pink ones. 
two red, two orange, two yellow. And these are just the normal size ones. These aren't the key rings. Um, but everything that I have will be $20, two for 35. I think it was three for 60 or 10 for 150. Haven't fully decided on that, but I know it will be $20 or two for 35. Then I have one green, so I need to do another green, two mint green, whoops, and two of the pink. So I still need to do one more green, two light blue, including this, so only one after this one, two light purple, and two light pink. So the light pink one is, where is it? There, so it's a little bit different to this pink. But I'm going to keep going with that and I think I might end the video after I finish the mushrooms off. I know it's going to be a lot shorter than my normal videos, but I really need to start prepping for... So this one, this stuff that I'm making now is for my um, product launch on Etsy. So I'm not actually going to be selling these at markets, but I need to start prepping for my Broadmeadow market. So making the avocados and what else have I got in here? Uh, little avocados. I've got some half finished bees over there, some little watermelons, which I think I showed in one of my other videos. If not, I will grab it if I can reach it. There we go. <laughs> uh, where is it? Here it is. Sorry, very close there. Um, so that's the little watermelon just there. I've got, I think, 10 of these bees. So I just need the end sewn in, plus wings added. Oh yeah, I forgot this. So I'm getting really close to the camera. <laughs> 10 little lemons. Um, I think that's it so far, but I want the avocados done, the watermelons done. And I had a list of stuff, but I can't remember what else. So. I think I'm going to end the video after I finish off the mushrooms, um, but I'll finish them off and then I'll show you all the ones that I have made either today or when did I start this list? I think it was, I drew up the little table last night, but I think I started prepping for it maybe the day before. So I'll show you everything that I've made uh, once I finish off the mushrooms. And I might even do a part two for it because I, I do still have a lot that I need to get done. Just finish off the first blue mushroom top. So there's one more to go. Also, sorry about my hair. It's a bit all over the place at the moment. I need to go style it. It looks it looks lovely when it's styled, but it looks like shit when it hasn't been styled. So just going with it today. But uh, another blue one done and I'm going to start on the second blue one now. Okay, so as you saw, I just finished off the second light blue mushroom. So now it's just one green, two purple, which I'm going to do now, and then two light pink. So only five more to go, so that's not too bad. Um, so I'm doing the purple now. And I just realised in this video, I have not done my midnight rinse. Woo! Although it's currently, was it 9.53 or 10.53? I think it's 10.53 because my MacBook is normally an hour behind and I thought daylight savings had already started but <laughs> I'm stupid it starts next weekend so I don't know what I was talking about in that earlier video from last night but anyway I was very tired and yeah so tonight's midnight rants is going to be about crochet hooks how is it possible to be crocheting 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 
put your stuff down for not even five seconds and then your hook disappears. I don't know if it like falls in between the gaps in the lounge or falls on the ground or your dog eats it because my dog literally eats anything and everything. I will put a video of her just here. I walked out the back, I think it was two nights ago. I put some pajamas, just ignore my Christmas pajamas, <laughs> please. But I put some pajamas on the ground, they were ready to be washed. And I come out like not even two minutes later. And this is how I find my dogs. <laughs> I nearly pissed myself laughing and I was home by myself and just them and I literally had nobody to laugh at them with <laughs> so I just filmed it and sent it to someone. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. Anyway, midnight rants. How can you lose a hook that quickly? It is so annoying and especially if you only have like one uh, like one hook in that size. I mean these ones I use all the time and I'm pretty sure I have three. I know I had three at one stage but then it went down to two. I have a feeling it's back at three now. Let's have a look. This is my hook collection. I also have more in my cupboard that are not currently out. Um, okay no I only have one in here. So I don't know where my third one's gone but my dog probably ate it. <laughs> She didn't actually, don't worry. But that's all my hooks there. They're all like arranged by size order as well. So it makes it better. But I'm going to be honest. I probably use um, one or two percent of my crochet hooks. And the ones I use aren't even in this box. So honestly, I don't know why I have this many. But well, obviously for reasons like my dog eating my crochet hook. So... There you go. I hope you enjoyed that edition of Midnight Rants. I know it was short and sweet, but oh, losing crochet hooks in the lounge drives me crazy. Okay, so up to my last mushroom, which is the lime green colour. I've got the first one just over here. Um, so just doing the last one now. I've done all the other colours, done the light pink, done the purple. Honestly, it's been so satisfying just making the table of everything I need to make and then crossing everything off because I have one more to go and then I have half the table filled in and oh it's just so satisfying <laughs> so I'll just turn it down a little bit so you can see what I'm working on um also oh now you can't see me talking there we go um <laughs> there we go also, I've had a few comments on my videos um, about the quality of the editing. I just want to say I'm very sorry. I do all my filming and editing on my phone and I am absolutely no video expert. <laughs> I sort of focus on, at the moment anyway, just getting content out rather than editing it properly. And there was also a comment on the lighting of the videos and how loudly I speak so I've tried speaking a little bit loudly a little bit more loud in this video um and also I've got a new ring light so I'm hoping hoping the <laughs> the voice was crap so bad then <clears throat> hoping the lighting and the volume of this video is a bit better I've also got like a new setup obviously with my yarn in the back here so Hoping this video will be a bit better quality than the first, the same than the first one, than literally all my other videos. Um, but let me know if you can hear me better, and let me know if the lighting's better and the volume's okay. Because I want, I do want to. Um, <coughs> the other voice is so weird. I do want to get better at editing my videos. Um, but yeah, for the time being, I'm purely focusing on getting the content out because I'm starting to get better at it, but I was honestly very slack at it. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it will get better over time. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be finishing off the lime green mushroom. And then I'll show you everything I made so far for my new product launch.
this is everything I have finished off. So I've got some frogs up the top there. Sorry for the cord there. So I've got 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20 mushrooms in their regular size. 20 keyring mushrooms here. How many frogs? Two, four, six frogs and three octopuses. Two of them still need stuffing. But I'm pretty happy with that from the last few days. Um, I, like I said, I'll make a part two of me uh, finishing everything off. Also, I realized that the rest of these are literally just going to be spots and white. So I've done the fun part and the shit job is left. So not looking forward to that at all. But I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I love the rainbow and... Yeah, this is everything laid out here. Comment below which of your, or which of these colours is your favourite. I'm still deciding, I don't know which, maybe the mint green, but I just love all of them together. Or even the, even the magenta colour. Um, I don't know if... Like, I wouldn't think normally that's my favourite, but I don't know. I just love all of them. I love pastel colours, love pastel yellow. So, yeah, let me know which of them below is your favourite, if you have one or if you just love the rainbow effect of it. Okay, thank you so much if you watched the whole video. Um, I had a lot of fun making everything and showing you what I was doing as I was doing it. And I'm pretty impressed. Like, I've got it sitting here that's why I keep looking down but I'm pretty impressed with how much I made and absolutely love the new yarn I bought and love the rainbow effect not even rainbow effect love the rainbowness of it all <laughs> but um I hope you were able to get some of your work in progress projects done and if not grab a work in progress project and then go binge watch all my videos that would be wonderful but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and comment below which of the colours I showed you is your favourite. I'm still trying to decide. I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, I don't know. I just love them all. But comment below if you have a favourite or if you're the same as me and you love them all as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. For my next video, it's going to be um, prepping for my Broadmeadow market. So that's this Sunday. It's currently Tuesday. It's like midnight. So just Tuesday morning. Um, but my Broadmeadow market is on Sunday and I need to do lots of crocheting for that. So I'm going to be filming that and then hopefully doing a market vlog as well. But I... So that's going to be my next video. And then the one after that will be part two of finishing everything off for my product launch. So I'm very excited about that because I don't know why, but I don't actually, like I have an Etsy shop, but I don't actually have a way for people to buy stuff. I have a few things listed and then the rest are just crocheting patterns. And like, how do I expect to sell my stuff if people don't have a way to buy it? So I, like I accept custom orders through DMs and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't currently have a way for people to just buy stuff like without messaging me straight away. Um, so yeah, looking forward to my product launch. But anyway, that's enough rambling from me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment which one's your favourite. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.